once again several big topics today again Irina and the big one is the just ended uh, Trump Harris debate tell us a bit about this has it ended or is it still going on no no thankfully it ended already <laughs> <laughs> although of course the post debate discussions continue right so what should we what should we understand means what was this whole debate what is the takeaway for the world because you see uh by uh, uh, trump says she is biden and he wants um, does not uh, wants to make sure make sure that there is no erasure of any policy distinction between harris and uh, and biden and then uh, harris says i am not joe biden and i am certainly not donald trump help us understand how should people understand about this debate what was discussed in this whole debate so i think kamala harris failed in uh, trying to distinguish herself from biden but i also think trump failed to uh really change anyone's mind about himself if that was uh if that was his goal at all uh i think he did a number of attacks on kamala harris's positions that were fairly successful but otherwise he came across as very angry uh he repeated the same points about um about uh, about immigration and border security it was a valid point but you know at appropriate times not uh constantly he came across as an unprepared and um god basically became very reactive to uh baiting by kamala harris she on the other hand dodged uh, he also engaged in a lot of hyperbole and conspiracy theories she on the other hand dodged or did not answer a lot of the questions um and her attacks on on uh, trump were better than the de her defense of her own record uh so they talked about several things uh several themes including the economy where both of them actually missed a lot of opportunity to really explain their positions to the public they made disjointed points trump relied heavily on his past record but they did not really explain um to the public what their plan is for the for the future other than certain concrete things uh kamala harris uh, uh tried to push her idea that she was would support small businesses but that her excessive spending uh, appears to nullify any positive um steps she might be taking uh trump um did not really convince anyone that uh his um plan to impose tariffs on all imports from all countries would not would not in fact um end up costing the consumers more um in the market uh, neither of them uh really created a very uh a very long-term vision of the u.s economy and how they would combat inflation neither of them could define inflation on ukraine the difference between the two candidates was the the biggest trump refused to um unequivocally support ukraine's victory he uh, pushed for a, uh, a diplomatic solution to the crisis but did not appear an effective argument o o about overcoming the stark differences in the two positions of the countries mm. and he did not also commit to um cutting aid to ukraine but nor promoting nor providing aid to ukraine so we can only assume that either his expectations are completely unrealistic or he is not being transparent about what he's actually planning to do Harris uh, was more clear in her position of uh, appearing co to continue to provide support to Ukraine. Neither had very good answer for the Middle East crisis or questions about the hostage situation. But Trump did point to his previous record of success in the Middle East, in, at least in deterring uh, bad actors from causing uh, problems. Um, Harris gave a very vague and broad answer about supporting Israel's right to self-defense, but also balancing it with the putting pressure on Israel over the way it conducts war without giving any clear examples. So 
um, it could mean anything and nothing at all, and it was not, did not really satisfy anybody who was expecting anything more concrete. There was a talk about abortions, uh, where once again uh, Trump was relatively clear in uh, in the fact that he that he reserved this issue as a state's right issue, whereas Kamala Harris simply refused to answer whether she would impose any restrictions on. Uh, on abortion, she also could not really defend her uh, border security record or really distance herself from most of border of Biden's uh, policy successfully. But Trump engaged in completely ludicrous comments, such as insisting that he won the 2020 elections or claiming that the new Haitian um, uh, refugees entering the U.S. are. Uh, abducting and uh, eating um pets from uh, from residents in springfield ohio um that is an absolutely absurd uh theory with absolute with no evidence whatsoever and not one specific ex example of of such a an incident occurring only unsubstantiated anonymous re uh, reports that emerged from uh, russian linked um uh, actors and uh, sources. Um, so I thought that really brought him down. But ultimately, I think both candidates showed very poor leadership. Um, Harris tried to provide a more optimistic vision of the US. Trump kept uh, uh, telling, you know, talking about how the Biden administration destroyed the country. But at the end of the day, I don't think. Um, either of them really changed uh, anyone's mind or brought anything new that would convince independent uh, voters. Um, but I certainly I don't think uh, Trump's rants or at personal attacks or conspiracy theories helped his case at all. Right, right. So who who is a uh, winner this time? Earlier on, you know, in 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 uh, during Trump and Biden, it was uh, Trump and and then Biden. Uh, bored out of the race. Personally, I don't think there were any winners here because uh, Kamala Harris failed in her goal in showing herself as having anything distinctive uh, from Biden, which is what she needed to do to overcome the uh, the um, uh, her falling numbers and support. And Trump really did not uh, position himself very well due to his angry outbursts and um you know uh, basic basically crazy talk uh many people are giving this um uh uh, uh giving this debate point to uh kamala harris simply because she did not engage in that s same level of hyperbole or outright fabrications but i really don't think that in terms of the impact of the election it will have any and it will not benefit, I don't think, any party. I think um, there was nothing new to be gained from this debate in terms of clarifying um, either candidate's position on anything. So if that was the impact that election this was supposed uh, to have, it will not. I think, uh, I think um, the Republicans who are planning to vote for Trump, even if they think he did a worse job, will still vote for him. I think independents uh, uh will rally over whatever they think is their favorite cause or issue uh regardless of what they thought of the rhetoric of these uh two individuals i don't think either of them was very impressive right right so for someone who is sitting here in this part of the world uh how, how should he understand who is the front runner right now and Putin's positive comments on Kamala Harris. Do you think it will help her in any way? I think uh, I think they're still running neck to neck. I think their numbers are very close, which is why so many people were hopeful that this debate would clarify um, their positions and help make up the mind. But I don't think you could say who you could argue over who was the better debater. You can criticize Trump for his rankings. And Kamala Harris for her uh, nervousness, but at the end of the day, neither of them actually added anything new in terms of substance. I think whatever impressions uh, people will make of them, 
will be purely based on their style and based on who they think um you know was just a better uh debater and not on their actual positions i think in terms of that um they did a much better job attacking each other than actually defending their own uh, positions and visions and i really don't think either of them has a clear plan for many of the issues they discussed such as healthcare, such as a lot of the foreign policy it was uh, very very worrisome uh, both for the u.s voters and for anyone watching it because if uh, the main the uh, for, for most of the world i don't think cares much about how u.s decides its issue on abortions or health care they care about security foreign policy economic and energy policies but um much much of that uh remained very vague broad and it's not clear what will happen once either candidate takes office right right from there let's move on to 